everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is a what I got for Christmas video. Now, um, I know it's a little late because Christmas was like oh, two weeks ago, but you know, I've been a little busy. Been trying to get things, you know, set up for my new channel as far as like rebooting my channel, I should say, and then doing stuff for TikTok and then of course working a real job. Um, so here we are with the video now. Um, now I just wanna say I'm not trying to brag much. Ah, screw it, I'm flexing all hoes today, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I am very fortunate, I have a wonderful husband and um, we are a double income, no kids kind of couple. So we are able to spend our money on crazy stuff and that makes me happy. So <laughs> we're gonna dive right into what I got for Christmas. First, we went to a party with some friends and there was like a little like gift exchange and uh, I got a desktop confessional booth. So actually this was a gift to me and my husband but I ended up taking it from him. So I'm gonna put this in my desk at work and uh, <laughs> instead of voicing my opinions out loud about how much work ticks me off sometimes, I'm just gonna talk to my confessional right here for it. My next gift uh, was for my parents and it was cash. I'm not gonna complain. You were like, wait, your parents can get you a gift? Yes, they did. They gave me the gift of cold, hard cash. I am perfectly fine with that. If you wanna give me a fistful of 20s and 50s, I'm good, I'll take it. I can go buy my own thing with that money. So I'm happy with it. No skin off my back at all, and my parents are happy to provide the money. <laughs> From my mother-in-law, I got a couple things. Um, first up, she gave me a uh, a bug candle, uh, <laughs> it's called Bugs No More. The thing is though, um, she was like, oh, it's a bug repellent. Uh, these, I told her, like, these typically work better outside because, you know, in our house we have an issue with fruit flies and gnats and um, I have bought one of those Ze Zeppo, what are they called? Zevo, Zevo, the uh, bug light trapper things, whatever it's called. I bought one of those and it works well, but I, I forgot to buy some refills for it lately, so you know the, the the gnats are back. Even though it's cold as hell outside now, um, they still somehow managed to proliferate in our house. Um, very annoying, by the way. Very very annoying. The next thing that my my mother in law gave me was something that my husband and I both have been wanting for a while, and I'm glad to finally get it because I am a super fan of J. Kenji Lopez. All this is his book, Food Lab. And I cannot wait to crack this sucker open. I've been holding off on opening it until I did this video because mm, I, I wanted to do the video first before I opened it and started bookmarking pages and stuff. But yeah, I'm looking forward to learning more about cooking with this because I'm, I'm a pretty okay cook, I think. But I know it could always be much better than what I am. So thank you to my mother-in-law for this. I'm very happy with it. The next thing she gave me was something that another thing I've been waiting for a while was an Instax printer. I had originally wanted the Instax camera, but I was like, wait a minute, my smartphone takes so much better pictures than those, you know, instant cameras do. So instead, I said, okay, the printer. And she got it for me because I usually put these pictures like in my bullet journal. The only downside is that I gotta find the replacement film um, for, it, it's a little expensive <laughs> um, for what you're getting. And even though I spend money on dumb stuff, I, I have a thing about spending money on things that are unnecessarily expensive if I can find it cheaper elsewhere. That way I can save that money to go buy handbags and other things that I don't really need, but oh well. Finally, we're gonna get to what my husband gave me. And I actually don't have some of the things here, I don't think. Um, starting off, he gave me, you know, little like candy gifts, like Walker shortbread, which he gets this for me every year at Christmas because I love them. I love the British shortbread. And even though they're very fattening, um, and I'm trying, I'm on my weight loss journey, I am rationing these because I said to myself, not until next, holiday season will I eat these again. But uh, I love them and I, I was very happy for him and he was like, can I have one? I'm like, <laughs> but I, I'll let him have one or two or three maybe, I don't know. Uh, if it depends on how sweet I'm feeling. The next thing he gave me that was like food related things was a Hershey Kisses cookies and cream bag. Um, and it's those are nice when I want something really sweet, but 
it's during the week and I'm trying to watch what I eat. So I'll have like one or two and be like, okay, that's my little treat for the day. And just keep it, just keep it cute like that, you know? Um, next up, he got me, <laughs> and this was, these are all like stocking gifts, by the way. Um, he got me a bunch of these chip clips that are shaped like a tortilla chip. And when I saw these, like he just, he said that when he bought them at Caper Source, they were like a little throwaway type thing to put my stocking. And I fell in love with them because I have a sign on my, at my cubicle at work that says embrace the matching chip clip of happiness. Because one day I realized that my chip clip matched the bag of chips I was eating and I dissolved into giggles. And my coworker Kelsey was like, Kim, what is so funny? And I'm like, the chip clip matches the bag. And she's like, you're easily entertained. I'm like, yes, I am. I, I very much am easily entertained. So when I saw these, I just, I started giggling and laughing and I couldn't stop. So, and then I took one to work and I showed it to my other coworkers, Demetra, I said, get it, chip clip, chip clip. And they just looked, they shook, she shook her head at me and was like, mm -mm -mm -mm. girl, something wrong with you. Yes, I know, I know. You don't need to tell me, I know. Next up, he got me, cause I love this type of stuff, fuzzy socks that I think he got these also from Paper Source, but they're really soft and they're really cute. Um, don't think they're very stretchy, but they feel really soft. And I like the fact that they're clouds. And he said, oh, they're purple. I'm like, baby, that's supposed to be blue. It looks blue to me, but he says it's purple. I think it's blue. What do you think? Purple, blue, who's right, who's right on this situation? Next up, <laughs> this is also my stocking. He got me my own Pocket Rocket Raccoon because Rocket Raccoon is one of my favorite Avengers <laughs> from the movies. And he decided to get me my own Pocket Rocket. And I saw him, I was like, oh, he's so cute. And I'm pretty sure the real Rocket in the movies I don't think he means to be cute, but to me, he's adorable. So I was happy with that. Next up, he got me um, a good luck charm, one of those Chinese uh, waving cat good luck charms, um, because I said, I'm gonna need all the luck in 2024, as much as I can get after the disaster that was 2023. So I really like this. I don't think I'm gonna put it on my keychain for my keys. I think I might just hang it in my car just to have good luck, just a good luck charm, because Lord knows, when I'm driving through the city of Richmond, I'm taking my life into my hands with my driving. Next, he got me, I don't know where he got this from, but he got me a miniature mug. It's actually supposed to be a shot glass that says queen because he knows that I'm a queen and he treats me like such. So I love it. Next, he got me this. I think we're gonna send it back. It's a MagSafe uh, magnetic phone clip that you put on your your car's uh, vents. The problem is I jack my heat up really high because I'm always cold. And um, iPhones tend to get really hot. So we were looking at it and talking about it and he thinks that maybe we should go ahead and send it back because it might not be a good idea to stick something like that on the heating vent in the car with an iPhone being that they overheat so much. So as much as I appreciate it, and it's also supposed to be purple, I think we're gonna send it back just for it to be on the safe side. So, yeah. Next up, and this is really cute because it's another gag gift he got it from Paper Source, of course. Um, something called Burger ASAP. It's a card burger building game or something like that. So, um, we like to have a lot of like game nights with friends and stuff. So, this is probably gonna be one of the ones we're gonna try out next time we have everyone over. And uh, <laughs> it looks cute though. And you know, again, it goes along with the whole gag gift sort of situation. Next up, he got me this little dainty ring. He wanted to get me more jewelry. Um, I had told him when he talked to me about it and I didn't want a whole lot of jewelry, um, mainly because I have a ton and I hardly wear it because I'm not a big jewelry person. And he got me this one I saw on Amazon and it literally is 15 bucks like but I've gotten into like dainty jewelry lately um instead of the chunky stuff that we used to wear all the time in the early 2000s so oh, that's a nightmare but my husband is one of those he's one of those men who thinks that he's supposed to buy his wife jewelry all the time and I think that's sweet but I'm paranoid about losing expensive giant diamonds and uh, this ring just seems very cute and 
it matches my wedding rings. So my, my wedding rings are white gold. And like I said, very dainty, very cute. And he's like, but it was like only $15. I'm like, I don't care. It's cute. No one has to know that it's not real. I mean, yeah, well now y'all know it's not real, but you know, I, <laughs> it's not that big of a deal to me, you know? And if I lose it, I'll just order another one. It won't be like I'm losing, you know, $3,000 diamond ring or something like that. But it's cute. I love it. And that's all that matters. It doesn't matter how much it costs. It matters the fact that I, this is the ring I wanted and I like it. Next up, we have something that I've been wanting a while too because I'm a big, I watch her YouTube and I love her. The Pasta Queen Cookbook. Ingredients. I love her. She is so funny and her, her food looks so good and I'm jealous of her kitchen. I don't know if y'all ever seen her videos, but her kitchen is nice. Her, all of her utensils and everything are just nice. And I'm like, girl, adopt me. I know I'm 40 some years old, but can you adopt me? Cause I wanna, I wanna come live with you and eat that food. You know, it looks good. Next up, I was, this is a surprise that he got this for me, but hey, he did. He got me the original Sex and the City TV show and the first two movies on Blu-ray because he noticed that the collection I had was a really old collection of just the TV show. And he had said like, it was the one that had the plastic cases that fell apart very easily. And he said, uh-uh, I'm upgrading that for you. And I was like, well, that was nice that you did that. Um, I don't like the reboot, you know, just like that. I don't like it. Um, I miss Ken Cattrall. And this is the OG old show. I love it. And it's nostalgia for me, but I'm glad that he upgraded it to Blu-ray and I can't wait to start um, re-watching the show. I guess I'll, this can keep me busy until Bridgerton season three starts in May, but we shall see. Next up for my husband, something else that I really wanted, and it was a ring doorbell. <laughs> and this is also for both of us in a way, because it's, it's going on our house, but I've been wanting a ring doorbell for some time. We have, we get a lot of Amazon packages and porch pirates, are, they're becoming a problem everywhere. Uh, thankfully we have, knock on wood, we have uh, been lucky, um, but I don't trust anyone. And I like the idea of being able to see who's at my door even when I'm not home. And even if I am home, I wanna know who's at my door because I don't wanna answer it. So, you know, <laughs> I just go like, um, yeah, can I help you? Uh, yeah, I wanna uh, see if you want me to cut your lawn, no. We already have a landscaper, leave me alone. But you guys have, like, leave me alone. Get away from my door, bye. Or I can just ignore them. That's what I wanna do too, it's just ignore them. Next up for my husband, another gift that kind of, that he surprised me with, that's kind of for both of us. I can't really show it to you because it's a big box. Um, it is a new set of pots and pans from this company called Hexclad. And I'll put the picture right here. It's a company that Gordon Ramsay endorses, like the, the, he uses their pans, so apparently it's, they're really nice. And I'll tell you a story about my husband having to buy these pans. Costco had them on sale apparently marked down the week before Christmas. And he got into, there, he said that people were getting into altercations over these pots and pans, because Costco was limiting how many, how many sets you could buy at once per person. And every time he would leave his basket unattended to get other stuff, he said that he would turn around and in some cases, the either the box of uh, pots and pans would be gone because someone had jacked it out of his cart or the whole last cart would be gone. And I remember asking him at the time, like, what took you so long at Costco? Because he was there for an hour and a half to two hours. I said, were the lines that long? And then later on, he told me, no. The last, one of your gifts I got you was so popular because it's so it was such a very good discount and good deal that people kept taking the one he had in his cart. And I was like, see now, mm -mm, mm -mm. I don't know what Karen's were pulling that kind of shit, but this is why I need to stick with my husband when he goes in the stores because stuff like this happens to him all the time. He must just look like a, I don't know. He's too nice, he's too nice. And I have a face of, I will cuss you out. But yeah, I was, I was shocked by the new pots and pans. They're very nice looking. I really can't show them to you right now because they're in the kitchen and there's, they're very heavy and there's too many of them. So I will like I said, put the picture up and show you what they look like, but they're nice. And uh, I can't wait to start cooking with them. Finally, 
the gift that I had told him, you don't need to buy me anything else because I knew I was getting this gift that I'm about to show you. I had, cause I had to help him pick it out. Um, and he was like, no, 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 I can't just give you one thing for Christmas. And I'm like, this one thing is more expensive than all the other things you're talking about getting me at once. So you only need to get me the one gift. And he kept insisting, you know, no, I'm gonna get you something else, which he did. Of course, he gave me all the little nice things he bought me, but I would have been fine if he had just got me this one gift. But what it was is he got me the M3 MacBook Pro. And I, I've already taken it out and I've already used it and, and, and everything and set it up and I bought so many accessories for it. This is just the empty box, you know. But I, I was very happy when he said that was gonna be your Christmas gift and asked me, do you wanna like, you know, tell me what, what specs you want? And I was like, of course, <laughs> of course I'll tell you what the specs. So basically we got this whole thing completely specced out for myself. I already decided what I wanted. So we have, I'll put the, the specs right here of everything I have. So we had a, it's the M3 Max chip, 16 inch in silver with the, let me read this, okay. 16 core, 16 core CPU, 40 core GPU, uh, 60, 64 gigs of memory and two terabyte solid state drive. Like my mouth is just watering at those specs. They're just, this, this machine is beautiful. Okay, it edits like, I mean, my, I have, my old MacBook Pro was pretty decent, but my old MacBook, MacBook Pro had 16 gigs of memory. And for, you know, those of you who don't know what that means, that means RAM. That's how fast your computer will go, right? 16 gigs versus 64 gigs. Let me say this thing runs so much faster. When I'm editing videos, when I'm doing anything, it's like instant. So I am very appreciative of this kit. I mean, I treat this thing like my baby. I really do. Cause my coworkers even laugh at me cause I was walking from our office to the reference session. I had the, the laptop in my hands and I'm literally cradling it like a child because I'm trying not to drop it. So if I'm gonna drop it, that's my new, that's not, that's my new bestie, my new child, my new everything. I love my Mac Pro. I'm trying to decide on a name for her. Haven't, you know, I, all my other computers have always been like old English male names, you know, but I don't know what to do with this one. Like I was gonna call her Lola, but I was like, nah, I'll leave that for my handbags. I'll name my handbags feminine names. And I think I'm gonna stick with the old English names for my computers. So I've already used Bartleby, Barnaby, Stanley. Um, I don't know, Humperdinck? I don't know, like what, what should I use? Uh, Fitzwilliam? Oh, <gasps> yes, Fitzwilliam. I'm gonna name the new one Fitzwilliam. That's it, that, there we go. That's the new name for my computer. So that's what I got for Christmas. And again, I consider myself very blessed, very lucky um, to have the people in my life that are willing to spoil me like this and and everything. And uh, don't worry, I did spoil my husband and my parents. <laughs> and my mom got a bunch of really nice cookbooks, Creole cookbooks that she had been wanting. And my stepdad got a bunch of Louisiana Saints merch. And my husband got a lot of vlogging equipment from me. So I spent a pretty penny on him too, okay? All right, don't get it twisted now. I spoil him as well. But I will have a video coming up of all the accessories that I have picked out for this MacBook Pro. I'm just waiting for the last of all those things to arrive from Amazon. But hopefully in the next couple of weeks, I will have that video out for you guys. But that's all for me right now. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Don't forget to like, share, Comment below, comment below what you got for Christmas. You know, what's your favorite things to do, your favorite traditions for Christmas. But um, I'll see you guys on the next one, bye.